Hi everybody, my name is Kyle and welcome to Akron After Hours. We have quite a delicious show for you today. We have guests, we have music, and we may even have some funny things in store for you. So why don't you stick around and watch the show. Hey! Quiet down. I'm sick of hearing about your comments on the new show. Personally, I think it went terrible. You guys all have to reevaluate what we're doing here. What I did over the weekend, I had to sit there and cry all weekend long because it was awful. Let me just give you a little example real quick. This is me. And these are my giant tears of dissatisfaction. You know what I did? I cried so much that I got out my slip and slide, I used my tears to lubricate it up, and I slid all the way down into a big pool of failure. And that's what our first show is. So what are we gonna do different? Kyle, give me some ideas. Well, I mean, I had an idea of a robot and a bear falling in love. I hate it, you're fired, get out of here. <sighs> Fine. Tony. What do you got for me? Well, I mean, I, we probably need a new host. Uh, he's got to be funny. Do you know anybody that's funny? Because uh, I sure don't know anybody funny. And you are all, for sure, not funny. And you bring nothing to the table. You're fired, too. And I don't like the way you're looking at me, so you're fired also. Get out of here. All right. Now, next order of business, we got to come up with some sketches. So what's the idea, team? And welcome back. Once again, my name is Kyle, and this is Akron After Hours. Now, obviously, Jay didn't really appreciate how the first show went and ended up firing us, but that evening he came to my house, threw some pebbles at my window, and I opened <laughs> my window, and it ended up him holding a boombox up. He was playing the Spice Girls, and he was singing the lyrics of the Spice Girls. It was lovely. And I couldn't, I couldn't say no. He told us that we should come back to the team, and I, how could I deny the man of such things? But we had a talk, and we realized that I need a co-host. And we ended up finding one, and her name is Julie. Julie, how are you doing, darling? I'm doing well, thank you. It's good, it's good to be here. Is it really good to be here? It's good, I mean, everything's still you know, pretty new. It's Trying new. to get a hold of everything, but it's been great. Um, I'm sure you'll get a hold of it after a while. I'm it's just a, I'm it's just not a, that hard. I'm doing it. It's really not that hard. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I'm just I'm just a little confused. I mean, I they told me that they wanted me to be the, the head host. So I'm sorry. Try, what? I'm gonna try to get in get into that spot. They probably. they said that you're going to be the host. Yeah. Um, specifically, they said you know it's not working out with our main host and <laughs> you, know, you in what, there is what the did only he, one. What did not he say two. specifically? I want um, answers. Well, just because, I mean, just with, I guess my experience and my drive for head host. Did did he <clears> say that I didn't have this drive or something? I don't I don't understand. I thought I did okay. Your name is it? It's not Kyle, is it? No, it's unfortunately it is Kyle. <laughs> it was you. Yeah. It was it was me. You're not. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have a long a long talk after this. But regardless. So let's just get you a little comfortable in doing something that everyone does around the crew. Okay. And let's just make fun of me for a little bit. Um, let's, what feature do you want to make fun of? Because usually they pick something on me. I feel, I feel like it's your, I mean, there's a lot, first of all. I yeah, feel like clearly, it's your beard. Clearly there is a lot. Your beard? Okay, that's a good start. What do you, what do you want to say about it? I mean, it's just, it's a little patchy. I don't really get it. What, what is there to get? I'm growing a beard and it's not working out for me very well, obviously. Among other things. Among other things. Um, I just feel like with a beard, you know, you should really go all the way or go home, as they say. But I mean, I've been like eating miracle Grow, and I've been taking all these supplements that I've seen on QVC. Mm -hmm. Like the whole shebang. 
Right. Like, I don't, it's not working out. You know, things happen. But why, why do you need to, like, focus on that? Well, there's a lot to focus on with you. Um, there's, I, I just feel with the beard, you know, you can, with a full beard, you can either look, like, really strong and stuff, or you can look unemployed. But, I mean, I, I go to the gym and I work out. I don't understand. Like, I go on the elliptical. I do, I do the yoga. I do all that jazz. Do I not look strong to you? I could, I could lift up three, I'm telling you, three lawn chairs at the same time, okay? <laughs> so, I'm strong. So, so you're going for the lumberjack look? Yeah, let's okay. go with the lumberjack look then. Well, it explains the flannel. It does, it does. I, I, I bought this cheap at a thrift store and I said, this looks like me, it looks depressive, and I bought it immediately. I would, I would have thought it was donated to you. <laughs> I have no words for it. I just not. I, you know what? We're done with this co-host thing yeah. for a little bit. Just, yeah. you know what? We're going to take a break for a little while. And why don't you stick around and watch the rest of the show? You know, I don't usually eat food. But when I do, I get my recipes from ZTV's Life Camera Akron. Watch it every day on Channel 45 at 8 and 2. What is the energy of innovation? It's a new way of looking at our world, of asking questions, seeking answers, and finding solutions. Like new tools for combating corrosion for safer roads and bridges, or a coal-fired fuel cell for clean energy in our future. At the University of Akron, our students and faculty are improving lives here at home and around the world. Experience the energy. Join us at the University of Akron. takes determination. So we're getting into college. I've got what it takes. So do you. And welcome back. Once again, my name is Kyle, and this is Akron After Hours. Standing here to my right, well, sitting, for that matter, is none other than Abraham Lincoln. But before we interview this awesome guest, let's look at this ditty. So, Mr. Lincoln. You're here today because you're feeling a bit stressed out. Mind telling me about that? After the war ended, it's just been so stressful. I've been struggling to find ways to cope. But then, Samuel here came into the picture. I see, that's one of the big problems we have to talk about. The uh, police tell me that you've been hitting people over the head with Samuel there. And you can't do that to cope with stress. It's just not right, stress. So why don't you just give me Samuel? Samuel said he won't like that. Not one bit. All right, all right, all right, all right. You can hold on to Samuel. We'll, we'll get to that later. It's a work in progress. We'll get there. I want Subway. Ah, uh, Subway. All right, well, now that that's out of the way, uh, can you think of any other way that you can cope with your stress? Is there anything else you can do? I like to draw cute kitty cats. Cute kitty cat. Nice. Don't you feel better now? I, I, I do. I feel a little sense of the stress is away. Well, how about uh, let's uh, how about you give me Samuel now? No. Oh. Still nothing. Samuel doesn't want you to hold him yet. Okay. Well. What can you tell me about? Uh... I want Purell. My hands are getting filthy. Yeah, nice and clean. All right, well, now that your hands are a bit cleaner, why don't we... Uh... I need some coke. I'm getting parched. Ah, fresh. <clears throat> this is going to be a lot harder than I thought it was. All right, Mr. President. We have a lot to talk about. I have learned so much about you just in that little little video right there than I have in any 
history book, to be honest with you. I didn't even know that you liked to carry a, a hammer around. Oh, good old Samuel, you know, he, he was always there for me, you know, never judged me like General Lee did, even though he was my enemy. We were actually good buddies back in the West. We lived in the West. <laughs> the history books don't teach you no, that. I no, didn't, I didn't read that at all. Mm, no, it's all the course of history that they don't want to teach you. Like, for instance, my top hat was surgically on, added onto my head. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. A lot of money, a lot of deer killed for that hat. Was that a lot of, like, citizen money, like taxes and what have you? Or did you pay for that out of pocket? I'm not obligated to answer that. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, well, I have a question for you. How did you get here? Get here in what context? Well, I mean that you're here, like right now in 2012, and you've been gone oh. for a long time. Well, you see, I found what they call the Fountain of Youth, and uh, what I did is that I found the Fountain of Youth, and then I just hid away in uh, Hawaii for a few for a few years. Few. Few years. <laughs> <laughs> and I just taught to the locals. I actually taught third grade biology to all the kids there in Hawaii. They really appreciated me. Hmm. And then I decided to come back after the memories of the war came back and thus you saw there my psychiatrist session. Uh, Abe, I feel like you're winning in the beard off. That's good. Oh. I wasn't aware that there's a beard off. Kyle, you would come in a close second if you're wearing a a goatee, the, the mullet of beards. It's um, business on the cheeks and party on the lips. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that one. Well, many, oh. many people know that good old Abe is identifiable by my beard. Just the beard, not my good looks, the stuff I've done for the country. None of that. Just the beard. So what does he win? I wasn't aware there was a contest, so obviously he's going to win something. What does he win? I'm not sure of the of what he wins, but he definitely wins in the beard and tan department. Did you hear that? The tan department, yeah. Oh, that's Hawaii does that to you. I can imagine. Did you do a lot of surfing there? Oh. Five national championships. See, that's just more things in the history books that I did not know. Mm. College is not working out well for me, clearly. clearly. I'm not learning what I need to learn. Clearly. I, I should I should actually put an application to teacher class. Then you'll know all the real history of America, like how George Washington was actually a Native American the whole time. Was he really? Mm, he was. He was. No one knew that, but it was passed down to the knowledge was passed down to me. I feel like my mind has been blown, and I, I, don't, I don't know if I can handle this anymore. I just don't, I don't understand life and its mm. workings. I need to rethink a lot. I can help you with that. Just let me go get Samuel, and we'll help you. I don't know. No, let's, let's, let's not do that. Instead, how about we go to our campus competency test? Where we go around, it's really cool, okay? I promise, I promise. Okay. We go and we talk to students, questions, and we, we ask them questions. And they answer them. Did you ask them anything about my beard? Unfortunately, I did not know you were going to be on the show until about oh. three seconds oh. ago. So... We didn't ask anything. Maybe next time I'll do that, though. Okay. I'll be here if you need me. All right, and let's take a look. Hi, folks. We're at the Student Union today at the University of Akron, and this is Akron After Hours Campus Competency Test, where I go around and ask students questions that they should obviously know the answer to. Let's go see what they know. Who was the founder of the University of Akron? Uh, if my best guess would be uh, Mr. James Akron. Will Smith's son, Jaden Smith. Fuchtel? John Fuchtel? Oh, Jaden Smith, Will Smith's son. Next question, please. Is our mascot Zippy a male or a female? A female. You answered that way too quickly. In the couch. What are the call letters for our university's radio station? WZIP. Why am I still single? <laughs> I have no idea. You haven't found the right person yet. Hear that, ladies? I'm coming for you. <laughs> it's probably something that you're doing. Probably some sort of a personality deficiency. 
That's the most correct answer I've heard all day, folks. What does SUV stand for? Oh, son of a sport utility vehicle. Southern unit vehicle. Like, I know that you're, are you distracted? Like, am I too good looking for this? Is this what it is? Maybe I'm your special someone. What program, TV program, has won multiple Emmys at the University of Akron? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I also don't know the answer to that one. You are no help today. Low down. No, they got nominated. They didn't win. I was there. I wasn't there. My brother was there. This one. She's good. <laughs> the answer is uh, Akron After Hours, by the way. This is the program that you're on. Oh! This is TV? I mean, there's a camera I right there. I the big screen, my friend. This is outrageous. So apparently we're done, and this guy doesn't like me anymore. Have a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed that last segment. Please stick around. There'll be much more music and laughter to come. Tune into the ZTV Sports Report every day at 3 and 8.30. The ZTV Sports Report, your home for everything Zips Athletics. What is the energy of innovation? It's a new way of looking at our world, of asking questions, seeking answers, and finding solutions. Like a contact lens for diabetics that changes colors with blood sugar levels or a revolutionary nanofiber bandage that helps wounds heal faster. At the University of Akron, our students and faculty are improving lives here at home and around the world. Experience the energy. Join us at the University of Akron. I look up to a lot of the older heads, you know, the, the innovators, the heads of the art movements of the past. They kept it really edgy and like a lot of the Latin American muralists and Latin American artists and um, their styles were very unique and new to their time. You know, somewhat controversial, but that's who I look up to mainly. Personally, I'm very excited about going to college. It's something new and it's something different than what I'm used to. I'm definitely gonna be a little out of my element, but um, that's what makes it so exciting is that, you know, it's something fresh. Well, there's so many opportunities that I think I could miss out on if I didn't go, you know? Getting into college takes planning and vision. You know, it's just like when I take a brick wall and turn it into a canvas for my art. Paintings help me realize that I've got what it takes. And welcome back. Once again, my name is Kyle and welcome to Akron After Hours. The skit you saw before was our awesome campus competency test and we'll be doing more of those throughout the show and the season for that matter. Our musical guest for this evening is none other than Nick Wilkinson. How are you doing, good sir? I'm great, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. I'm glad to hear it. So let's start with these questions because I have questions that I'm supposed to tell you. Totally, or yeah. ask you. Ask questions. All right, That's so cool. first question, how did you get started in music? Oh, um, I got a... I'm sorry, am, am I bothering you? No, or, you're fine. Like, no, let's what, do these questions. Do I don't know, no, like, we're, what are you doing? I just realized I have to update my fantasy football team. Uh, you realize that we're on air, No, correct? I get that, but this is important. Why? Uh, just, there is winning on the line. What, what do you win? I, besides respect. That's pretty much it. And probably And I need as much respect as I can get. I mean, and I'm on the show, so yeah. I probably need the same thing. Can I join your league? Yeah. Okay. It, well, it, well, can I'll you play worse later. than me so I feel better about myself? I mean, I probably can. It wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> well, all right. Well, let's do these questions. I just got right. to drop the... the, the all right. The, so uh, how did you get started Cowboys. in music? Um, oh, like 16. I got a bass guitar. started playing bass. How did you get the bass guitar? Uh, it did you was, steal it? I did not. Don't lie to me. <laughs> it was a birthday present from my parents. Oh, that's nice. It was. That's yeah. pretty nice. I, it came with a lot of begging. 
Okay. It's like I'll mow the, I will mow the lawn for six months. And how did that work I out? I mowed the lawn for six months. Wow. Yeah. That's a good thing. Okay. Next question. Um, I hear that you have a band, Nick Wilkinson and the Feature Players, correct? That's true. And you yeah. have an EP that's coming out? Yeah, we do. Let's, yeah. let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. Oh, I mean, you're a musician. Let's talk about it. Uh, well, right. That was the question. You oh, okay. The well, there's a, <laughs> it's a piece on EP. We recorded it at a friend of ours' uh, production studio, uh, Free Truman Productions, and uh, we're releasing it on the 24th at Thursdays in Akron. Okay. So why only three songs? Well, it seems like three songs is three songs. Like because three songs is better than no songs. I mean, yeah, but still, like, why can't you put a couple more songs into it? Well, there's this financing thing with the money and the paying for the songs to get done. Okay. So, yeah, three. That's all. So what is a, uh, you said an EP of your city. What is that? Yeah, what's an EP? What does that stand for? Uh, I'm pretty sure EP um, is a Latin uh, abbreviation for Epsilante, which in Latin translated up means elephant pyramids. <laughs> I think he's lying. What do you think? That's, yeah. Liar. Okay. Yeah, I'd say liar. Should I keep going on this interview with the liar? I don't, I don't really appreciate it, but should no. we? <laughs> no? Well, you know, I, Julie says we shouldn't interview any, you anymore. Well, what does and Julie know? She doesn't even she know what an EP is. She knows a lot. Is. I mean, <laughs> she doesn't know what an EP is. It's wow. not that big a deal. I know. It's life. It's we the do. pyramids. Why would you not believe me on that? I don't, I just don't, you don't, you don't have that face. I don't. I mean, do you see this face, Julie? I just don't, like, I don't believe him at the least bit. Lies. All lies. It sounds about right. All right, so let's just, let's move on completely because I don't really want to ask you any more questions. But I do I want you to do something for me, questions. which is play a song. And I hear that you like this one song that you do called Open Book. Yeah. And I would like to hear that song. I would like to play it for you. So after these skits, we're going to be playing that song. Well, I'm not going to be playing it. Nick Wilkinson's going to be playing it. So stick around. Seriously, why am I such a loser?
sure nothing but but this torn pages in your binding from the chapters I would touch. Nick Wilkinson, everybody, did a fantastic job. Why don't you stick around for the rest of the show? It's going to be great. Watch Goofing Off every day at 4 and 9.30 here on ZTV Channel 45. And welcome back. Wasn't that musical guest an absolute delight? Hey Julie, how did you think of the show? You know, I liked it. I actually really just liked his song. I, it's, I'm, it's stuck in my head now. And what did you think of the rest of the guests? I mean, I had Abe Lincoln, yeah. 16th president. I thought he was the fifth. But clearly I am wrong. So what did you think about him? I mean, I liked him. I thought, you know, it was, it was great. I, I'm a little offended. Um, during the break, he decided to show me his weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> did you at least get his number, though? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want it. <laughs> but he has a better beard than me. How would you not want that? That's true, actually. That's very true. <laughs> I mean, how are you going to come back again for the rest of the show? I don't, I would like you to. I, I, don't, I wouldn't like you as the host, but I mean, the co host sounds pretty good. Because mm -hmm. that's my job. I mean, I don't want you to take my job. Right. Well, I feel like if, if, I'm, if anyone makes any other plans with me, I'll do, I'll do those plans. <laughs> I feel a little offended by that, though. Do, am I not good looking or something? Is that what it is? No words for you. Anyways, so that's our show, folks, for this evening. Be sure to follow us on YouTube at Akron After Hours. Follow us on Twitter at Akron After Hours. And like us on Facebook at Akron After Hours. And be sure to visit our website, www.akronafterhours.com. Once again, my name is Kyle, and have a good evening. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. To find out how you can make Emmy-winning media, visit the UA School of Communication online. ZTV. Make media. Make a difference. So, same time next week? Well, of course.